and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, October 4th, 2022 at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. And if you're watching at 7 p.m., you're on the live. If you're not, then you're on the replay. So hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Hey, Tony. Hey, Spice Girl. Hey, Robin. Hey, Heather. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Patricia. How are you girls doing? Is it raining there? It's been kind of gross and rainy here all day long. And chilly. Very chilly. The high today was 59. It was so cold. And I've been in my winter pajamas all day. Although it took me like about a half an hour to find them because I had put them away for the winter and couldn't remember where I put them. <laughs> so <laughs> I went searching all over the whole house trying to find my winter pajamas and uh then i finally remembered i had put them in one of those uh under the bed storage things <laughs> so i finally found them <laughs> i went searching in every room of the house trying to figure out where i put them and finally i remembered they're under the bed but now i got my nice cozy pjs on and uh i have not gotten out of them all day so i'm kind of like a sloth you know just lazy today but I did some stamping. This is actually a card I did in my Christmas card class the other day, last week. And um, they got to make three of these. We're going to actually make five of them tonight because they're super easy. And um, you can whip these out in no time. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Diana. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Laura. Hey, Minda. Let's see. Who did I miss? Susan, Lenora, Jan, Terry. In my winter PJs now. Oh, Patricia, you're in your PJs too. I had to turn the heat on this morning. When I got up, it was about 60 degrees in the house. And um, I was a popsicle. So I turned the heat on and went and got my winter pajamas. Because um, I was not going to freeze. <laughs> and then I went and got the heater out of the closet too. So um, it has just been a chilly, yucky day. So I am hoping it's supposed to warm up. I think another tomorrow's supposed to be another gross day. And then Thursday is supposed to be beautiful and sunny and 75. And then I think 80 on Friday. So it's going to warm up. I don't know why I'm crooked here. Let's see. Okay. I think my camera was crooked. All right, so um, I don't know if you can see up close on this one. This one doesn't have as much glitter as this one does. Maybe you can see the sparkle up close, but it's got sparkle on it, and I did Wink of Stella on the bow. I probably need a little gem or something there. I didn't put anything on it, but I probably could use something there just to give it a little pizzazz, like a little red rhinestone or something. Well, I don't know if that would match, though. But that's what we're making. Um... I know, I can't get over this cold. It just like went from summer to winter and then it's gonna go back to fall, I think. Um, yeah, it was just too cold to do anything today. I gotta go somewhere, I got a doctor's appointment in the morning so I gotta get up and go out, which I hate because it's probably gonna be raining again. But, um, oh, Vicki says it's 86 where she lives. I don't know where she is. First day, we haven't hit 90 degrees or more all summer. Oof. In the 50s at night, but we still have the windows open. I don't open the windows too much. I get There's too much noise where I live. <laughs> too much um, outside, uh, not like traffic or anything, but animals and uh, ducks and or geese and frogs and just um, too much noise. I can't, I can't stand it when there's all that croaking and things like that out there. Um, oh, let's see. Candy's in Arizona, 88 degrees. Whew. Well, I kind of like the 70s. Oh, so don't let me forget free shipping today. If you guys have missed it, it's not too late. You still have about seven hours left, I think, because um, it goes until midnight mountain time, which I think is two o'clock in the morning my time. So that's about, yeah, seven more hours. Hey, Sandy. You had perfect fall weather here in Missouri. Um, yeah. You know, yesterday was funny. They closed the school and everything, and it was supposed to be even worse than Friday night. 
and it really wasn't that bad. So, I mean, we did have a little bit of flooding, but it wasn't nearly as bad as Friday. And they closed school, so they closed school for nothing. So, free shipping on all orders of $75 or more. So, I sure took advantage of that today and stocked up on a lot of things. And um, a lot of you all did too. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for the orders. If you haven't ordered, it's still not too late. So, make sure you um, go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com, and use the host code if your order is less than $150. If it's over $150, do not use the host code so you can get the hostess benefits. So, just a reminder of that. Also, a lot of you guys have asked me for my address. This is my address. If you want to take a screenshot real quick. And um, that was for my birthday coming up in less than three weeks. Actually, only two weeks. Two weeks from today. So, my birthday is October 18th. Oh, the Spice Girl says it's 107 today. Ugh, yuck. So, um, that's my address. If you guys want to send me a... Um, birthday card. Maybe I'll pick a winner from all the birthday cards I get to um, send a prize or something. Wouldn't that be fun? A birthday prize for you guys. Um, also, there's a new starter kit special starting today. So, normally the starter kit is $99, which it still is, and you get $125 of product. Um, starting today for the rest of the month, you'll get $155 in product. Free shipping on the kit and a paper pumpkin. So, all together, that's almost $200 value for 99 bucks. So a great deal. And that goes for the whole month. Free shipping is only today. But um, you can sign up the rest of the month. And, um, oh, I got happy mail from my downline and my good friend Sandy, who's watching right now. She sent me this beautiful card. I love, love, love it. And um, I just think that's gorgeous. And it's got the musical notes in the background. Sandy always makes such gorgeous cards. And then the inside just has that. So thank you, Sandy. I love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful. And I have that stamp set and haven't used it yet. So um, definitely get a copy of that one. So thank you so much. Today we're using this stamp set, Cottage Wreaths. And we're using this one, this one, this one. And the Merry Christmas. So about half the stamps that we're using today. So this is a really pretty one, and it comes with the dies. I'm not using the dies, even though there is one for the bow. I actually cut them out just because we did them in class, and everybody had to cut out three of them, so it was just going to take too long, so we just did it. Um, and, and it only takes a minute, so it's not very hard. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, Beth. I missed you on here. Hey, Amy. Let's see. I think I got everybody. Hey, Reva and Brenda. All right. So let's go ahead and get, oh, one more thing. So don't forget if your order is over $50, which for today, um, for the free shipping has to be at least 75. So if your order is over 50, you'll get a card kit to make these four cards that I showed on the last video. And then if your order is over $100, you'll get a pack of the champagne rhinestones to go with it. So don't forget that as an added bonus. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what you need. So you need eight and a half, I mean eight and a quarter by four and a quarter um, mossy meadow, and I scored it at five and a half right here. I don't know if you can see that score. So I'm gonna fold that in a minute. And then we need five and a quarter by four white. So five of those, that's for the inside of the card. And then we need five of the um, three by three Mary Merlot and five of the two and three quarters by two and three quarters white. And then this is just a scrap to stamp your bow on. So let me put that back there in case you want to take a screenshot of the whole thing so you can save it for later. So you'll know exactly what you need. So this is just a scrap of white. Doesn't really matter what size it is, just a scrap. Um, Jan says, do I qualify as a shimmerette if I have shimmer spray different? Yes. If you have any kind of shimmer spray, you're a shimmerette. <laughs> it's not that hard to join the club. Just get some shimmer spray and you're good. So you are all set. So this is it. Get a screenshot and we're going to go. So hopefully you got that. If not, rewind it a little bit on the replay and you can get it. These are really sticky posts in <laughs> Every time I peel them off, I'm just like, wow, they're super sticky. I 
can't remember who sent them. I think Lorraine sent them to me. They were a gift from her. And they are super, super sticky, which is a good thing. All right, so I'm going to um, just fold these up on the score line real quick. I don't know where my little scoring thing is. It's usually sitting right here, but it's missing. Oh, well. I'll just have to do it by hand. I don't know what I did with my thing. It was usually sitting right here. All right, so they score real easily if you do that ahead of time. And too bad I don't have my scoring thing. Oh, there's one. Here we go. Here's a bone folder. So I'll use that. Oops. Okay, so that makes it nice and scored. So then we're done with that. All right, so then we're gonna stamp. So I'm gonna start with the white. Let's do this piece first. So what you're gonna do is get your little leafy thing. I'm using Mossy Meadow ink. This is an old pad. So I'm just gonna stamp the inside of each one twice. So I'm gonna ink it up one time, stamp it twice like that. And I had two pads with me. The other one's brand new and it was too dark. Because whenever you're using these distinctive stamps, you don't want to use a juicy pad because it doesn't come out as nice. So I picked the pad that was drier. Or you can take like a bone folder or something and move the ink over to the edge. All right, so there's the inside. Now we're gonna do this part. So I'm gonna grab a scrap sheet real quick. And we're gonna do this. I probably should have done this before I folded it. Actually, should I folded it that way? I think I usually fold it with the bump. I do. Okay, I did that backwards. All right, so that's why it was not folding very good. All right, so we're just gonna stamp this all over the front like that. And then we're gonna fold it back the other way. Oops. So just ink it up each time and stamp it on there. Now I'm gonna have to recrease these. <laughs> They, they do better if you fold them in, so the mountain should be on the inside. Okay. So just a tip. Sometimes I forget. So I last night I start, I have like 35,000 pictures on my phone. And I'm trying to delete some of them because some of them are like seven, I think they go back seven years. And I've just got too many. So I've been trying to delete them when I get time now and then. And so today I sat down and started doing it and I sat for about an hour and I deleted about um, seven or 800. And I thought, well, dang, I only got about a month more to go <laughs> if I did that every day. I'm like, wow. I don't know. I just take screenshots of everything. I just seem to take like so many pictures every single day. And I never go back and delete old ones. And it, the funny thing is, as I'm going through looking at these pictures, I find so many times I've taken the exact same picture over and over and over. Screenshots of it. They're usually cards, which is, you know, probably what you guys do too. All right. So now we're going to do the white squares and put the wreath on here. So just ink up this wreath and we're just going to stamp that, right? I don't think this really has a top or a bottom or anything. Just try to center it. Give it a good press. That looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to see on white paper because it's white on white. See how fast these cards are? I tried to do that because I had, you know, a bunch of people in class. So we were making 12 cards. So they had to be pretty easy to get 12 cards in two hours. 
So everybody got to make three of each one. All right, one more. And then we're gonna put the berries on that. So next comes the berries and the wreath. Oh, you know what? I didn't get enough paper. Well, I'm only gonna make a couple wreaths because you, you need to do five, but I've already pre-cut four of them just so you guys didn't have to sit and watch me um, do that ahead of time. So I'm just gonna do one. I'll do a couple. You can fit like three on this piece of paper. But let me show you what I did with this wreath. That's really fun. And um, I took the Wink of Stella and I colored it with the Wink of Stella. So that just makes the color bleed and makes it darker. So anytime you stamp and you wanna make it just like, kind of bleed like that, you see the difference? Hopefully you can see that in there. See one side sparkly and hopefully you can see that. And then it's darker. Yeah, I think I can see it in the camera, so hopefully you can. So we're just gonna do that for the whole thing. So that just makes it sparkly and darker, so it just pops. And then we're gonna cut that out. So you're, if you were making these, do all of them that way, but uh, I'm just gonna do one because I already did the rest of them. All right, so we're gonna put berries on all of this. So you're just gonna ink this up and put about, I don't know, six or seven maybe. Space them out about an inch or so. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You probably do six or seven, depending on how close you want them. Oh, that one's kind of wonky a little bit. So that's only six. You gotta be careful. Try to do it exactly even. There is probably a more, oh, that one looks better. More efficient way. Oops, almost didn't ink it up. Oh, I just got my fingerprint in there, darn it. <gasps> I just realized I don't have the words. Uh-oh. The words are missing. That's not good. Okay, well, I don't think anything else here is gonna fit in there. What do I have? Grateful, hello. Some people just like life better. All right, so in the words, they must still be in another box somewhere. Darn. Oh well. <laughs> I don't have another Christmas stamp in here. <laughs> so we're just gonna skip the words for right this minute. Dang, I got that ink right there in the middle from my finger. All right. I should have double checked. I just got it on my finger again. Oh well. It's gonna be hard to stamp after I put it together too. <laughs> All right, so we're done with that one. So we're done stamping since I don't have the uh, Merry Christmas with me. Shoot could put hello but it's not the same all right so these go all on this paper we're just going to use our green glue let me read some comments real quick hold on let's see oh i missed a whole bunch let's see Oh yes, I gave the bags, she asked about the shimmer bags. So I bought the shimmer bags on Amazon and um, one of my friends at work, she has a Cricut. So she is actually, I gave her pictures of what I wanted her to do. So she's, I gave her like four to try. And boy, I have got ink all over these. <laughs> Dang. Okay, that's not good. We'll have to do like some splatters or something to cover that. Um, she's doing some prototypes and then I'm just going to pick which one I like the best and then she's going to make those. So yes, they are in the works. So then I need to order some 
shimmer paint and some bottles. I think I can get the bottles at the Dollar Tree. So I'm hoping in about a week or so they'll all be ready. Uh-oh. Put that on the wrong piece. Oh, well. We'll put that on top here. Okay. So now we're going to put the inside in there. So I ended up just sitting on my phone most of the day, getting rid of all those pictures, which seemed like a big time waster, but my phone is just getting like too much stuff on it. So it's taking up too much of the memory. So I'm trying to delete some things on there. So I only have 64 whatever on my phone, megabytes or whatever of memory. Oh, I didn't finish reading comments. Let's see. Hey, Nicole from Australia. Uh-oh, somebody passed away. Loretta, oh, Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn. Oh, she passed away a long time ago. Not the country singer, right? I don't really watch too much of country stuff. Well, I mean, I like new country. I don't really like old country. Although I am watching that new show, um... Monarch, which is pretty good. I don't know. I I like Trace Atkins, but I don't think of him as like a, I don't know, like a a major heartthrob looking character. So it kind of is is strange that they cast him in it, but I don't know. But maybe that's just me. I think it should have been somebody more, I don't know, sexy. <laughs> he's just not my favorite. I mean, I like him okay, but he's not like one of my favorites. Like some of the other country singers. All right, so we've got all these in here. And I'm gonna have to try and go back and stamp all these with the, um, dimensionals behind it huh that's gonna be a tough one all right so I'm gonna cut this out real quick so this is an easy cut out let me check a little bit more comments what red that's uh, Mary Merlot it's Mary Merlot and Mossy Meadow and Monarch is on shoot I want to say ABC but I'm not positive it's one of the main channels it's either ABC or NBC or CBS, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's ABC. Um, you think he's kind of sexy? <laughs> he does have a deep voice. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking of, of other people they could have put in there that would have been better. I don't know. He's just not... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to say anything bad, but it's kind of like almost everybody on there, except for, um, Susan Sarandon. She, everybody, almost everybody else on the whole show is brand new. I've never like heard of any of them. They're just like, uh, not main people that, you know, have been in a lot of stuff, so. The singing is good, but I'm not sure if they're actually singing. It's hard to tell on shows like that if the people are actually singing. Um, they are very good. They did have Shania Twain on there, like as a guest the other day. But it seems like a pretty good plot. Um, kind of, it's not as good as Nashville was. That was one of my favorite shows. I loved, loved, loved that show. And they took it off. All right, so we've got five of these. So we're going to put this together. Pretend I have Merry Christmas in the middle because I forgot the words. So sorry about that. So when you put it together, you want to put your wreath like um, halfway. So you don't want anything on this side of it because when it opens up, you don't want adhesive or glue dots or um, dimensionals there. So you're only going to put the dimensionals on the left side. So... 
Just be careful of that when you do it. Don't get carried away. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just fold it over and put it about where I want it. So we'll have those right there. And then take them off and put that right there. Or if you wanted to, you could just put the dimensionals, I'll do that on the next one. You could put the dimensionals, two of them, like right here, and then take the other two and put them, it doesn't really matter which way this goes, because I don't have any words in it. <laughs> and then put the other two, where'd they go? Right here, oops, no, we don't want them in the, yeah, we do, right there. So that way, when you flip it over, you've already got those in the right place. So you don't have to worry about them hanging over. So put that right there. I was really good today. I just had like, I woke up really late. So I had a late breakfast and I made a, let's see, scrambled egg sandwich with some ham so that, and cheese. So that was pretty healthy. And then um, that was kind of late, like 11. So I didn't really eat dinner. I wasn't too hungry. So I just had like a protein shake. And that was pretty much it today. So it was good today. So hopefully I'll be good the rest of the week and lose a few more pounds. After my appointment tomorrow, I'm gonna go dress shopping though, just in case. So I might have a backup dress just in case my other one doesn't fit very good. Because the Ross Dress for Less place is like right on the way home. And that really, I find a lot of good um, deals there, especially on dresses. Not too much on other clothes, but the dresses usually are a pretty good deal. All right, one more. So this one, hopefully the words will cover that up and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm gonna get one of those little eraser things, you know, the, like a, what is it? Sand eraser or something. It does something, I don't know. I bought one one time and it didn't seem to work too well, but other people seem to have pretty good luck with it. So I might try it again. So are you guys liking all the Christmas cards I'm doing and getting some good ideas? These are all going to go on with the glue dots. Hopefully you are, because if you copy all these easy cards, then you'll have a ton of Christmas cards made if you um, make like four or five of each one. Oh, you just went to the dentist, Melanie. <laughs> A 40-day sugar fast? Oh, that would be hard. 40 days of no sugar. I think I would die. Oh, Sue says a sand eraser on Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's where I got the other one. But every time I tried to use it, it just kind of ripped the paper. All right, so we're going to stick this down here on the bottom. And just ignore my little boo-boos. I think I might get an aqua painter or something and just splatter a little bit of red on there and kind of cover those boo-boos up. So just pretend there's Merry Christmas if you just turned in late for my Merry Christmas stamp. It was not in the box where it should be. So I'm thinking somebody put it in the wrong box in class. So I don't know where it is. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until I already started the video. So we're just skipping the words today so sorry about that but it should look like that with the Merry Christmas on it so sorry about that hopefully I'll be able to go back and stamp it on here after I do it I might have to put something underneath it all right and then of course we have to do shimmer spray so let me get some scrap paper back I'll have to swap these out with the ones that are already stamped with Merry Christmas. Love it. All right. So by the magic of TV, here we go. We have the ones that already have Merry Christmas. <laughs> we'll put these on the bottom. 
So you can't see I'm missing the words. There we go. All right, so we'll just hide. There's no words there. Oops, got to hide that one too. There we go. So what do you think? There we go. <laughs> I'm telling you. I think I would forget my head if it wasn't attached some days. All right, let me read all these comments. Holy cow, I'm way behind. Got to scroll back up. Trace doesn't ring your chimes. No, uh -uh. <laughs> Remember that song, you can ring my bell? It does not ring my bell. No. I don't like long hair either. I'm more attracted to, like, um, bald guy. I don't like a lot of hair. Like, long hair. Really cute card. I've got that set. Let me see. Oh, Reva said she didn't have much luck with that eraser either. Love them. Oh, Tombow Mono Sand, Sand Eraser. I'm going to say that's the one that I got. Love your cards. Going to need this reset. I know. I love this reset. It's so pretty. And it does have the dies that go with it, so you can cut out the wreath if you want to. But when I'm doing a class like this and... and um. We're making a bunch of them. It's just too hard to die cut everything because then everybody would have to do three of them and it would take too long. So I wanted to do cards that didn't have too many die cuts. Yep, order it tonight and you can get um, free shipping. There are a few things that are sold out. Um, one thing I tried to order today was the um, Lights of Glow paper. And I love, love, love that paper. And it's sold out. Um... The gold, distressed gold paper is sold out, which is another one of my favorites. Luckily, I just ordered a ton of that and a few other things. Um, another fast and easy core. Do the scissors underneath cut, then glue dot. Do the scissors underneath cut. Okay, Beth, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Do the scissors underneath cut, then glue dots. I don't know. Um, oh, Spice Girl, you're coming to my house? Yay! When are you coming? Set is sold out. I did not see this so set on the sold out list today. Yeah, everything is coming back. Um, most things are coming back in a couple weeks. Um, some things like by the 24th, but, um, there are quite a few things. Uh... Let's see, you always have great ideas. I'm trying to get some paper. Oh, I know I just ordered some of that paper the other day, so it must have just sold out today. <laughs> Spice Girl says, get your guest room ready now. All right, guys. Um, oh, I forgot a joke. You ready for a joke real quick? Okay, this one's kind of cute. This is also from Spice Girl. A dog sees a now hiring poster outside of a computer store the poster reads, must be able to type, must be able to program, and must be bilingual. We are an equal opportunity employer. The dog takes the poster in his mouth and walks in. The manager spots the dog and decides to humor it, pulling up a chair and a computer with a word processor. All right, if you want to work here, you need to first write a letter and leaves the room. 30 minutes later, he comes back in. The dog has typed out a completely error-free letter. Well, I'll be. This is a smart dog. But can he program, he asks himself. 20 minutes pass, and the dog has made a perfectly running website for the store. He looks shocked at the dog and finally speaks. Look, I know you have the qualifications, but, well, you're a dog. The dog nudges the words, we are an equal opportunity employer, on the poster and the manager sighs. And he says, well, there's no way you're bilingual. The dog looks at him in the eyes and says, meow. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <laughs> Um, let's see. Basically, cut the dimensional stamp. Use the glue dots to put the dimensional. Oh, and put it back together. Oh, I see what you're saying. Cut the dimensional stamp. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to take it apart to stamp it, I think, probably, because I don't have those words on it. I'm afraid it, well, it might go okay on there. I don't know. Got to find the stamp first. Um, hey, Susan from Cincinnati. I'm glad to see you live, too. <laughs> yeah, it was Debbie's joke. 
Yes, it was Debbie. <laughs> so thanks, Debbie, for the laugh. Let's cover that one up. It doesn't have words. <laughs> all right, so I hope you try this card. It is super easy. That was like 15, 20 minutes for all those cards. So super, super easy. And um, then you can save this extra piece of cardstock here for another card because I had all these extra pieces left over from where I cut. Um, leaves of Holly dies. Oh, not available till the 24th. Okay, what about this one? The cottage, this is the cottage wreath one. So I don't know if it's sold out or not. Tom Brady is getting divorced. I don't know who that is. Is he Tom Brady? Is he a um, television person? Everyone have a blessed night. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for all the nice comments. And um, don't forget, free shipping, last chance if you have not placed your order. Um, free shipping today only. We've got six and a half hours left until the sale is over. It has to be $75 or more. Make sure you go to my website and use the host code or just go to stampinup.com, use the host code. Um, and you also get the free gifts of the card kit, this card kit right here, all of these cards, and um, the rhinestones if your order is over $100. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I'll be back on Thursday night with another video. And I think I'll do something different on Thursday. Oh, he's a football player. Okay. Um, I don't watch football. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, sad. I don't watch football or sad. He's getting divorced. Probably sad. He's getting divorced. <laughs> yeah. I don't follow any sports actually. I'm just not into that. Once I got divorced, I never had my TV on ESPN again. It's been so nice having to listen to that. Um, all right, you guys don't Give it, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me, please. And I will see you back soon. Oh, Cottage Wreath is low inventory, so if you want it, get it now. No, I don't know who Tom Brady is. Only the best quarterback of all time. Okay. <laughs> what team is he on? Can't figure out the layers. Nothing will go through machine. What? Melanie. There's pictures on the machine that tell you exactly which plates to put through. This is just regular. When you have the regular dies, you just use the regular plates. It's the base plate, a glass one, acrylic plate, your die, and then another plate. Well, I use the um, thin die adapter also in there. So, but there's a picture on the thing that tells you which ones to use. So it's pretty easy. I don't know who that is either. Giselle. Oh, wait a minute. I think she was a model, maybe. Giselle sounds like a model. Layers on Big Shot she has. Yeah. Yeah, even if it's the old one, it's the same thing. So it's the the big, the platform, and then the thin die adapter. So if you have the really old one, it's that one that flap, the flap goes back and forth. One of those, and then your two acrylic plates with the die in the middle. All right, so I will see you guys in two days on Thursday night. And <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> I just don't watch football. <laughs> um, I'll be back Thursday, and I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your week, and hopefully it'll be nice and sunny by the time I come back. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.